Good evening, my name is Brian D'Amico, Manager of Educational Services here at VectorVest, and I'll be providing your Strategy of the Week tonight for October 11th, 2013, titled, How to Profit from MACD Crossovers. In tonight's strategy, you'll learn three things. Number one, how to use MACD. Number two, how to easily search for MACD crossovers. And number three, how to set VectorVest to alert you of trades. If you're like most technical traders, You've probably spent hours upon hours going through graph after graph after graph trying to eyeball technical chart patterns, looking for crossovers or any other technical pattern that you're interested in. For example, in a recent webcast, we had people say that they go through 50, 100, or even 500 graphs in a single day. And that can become very frustrating. Well, in tonight's webcast, not only will you see how to use MACD crossovers, you're going to see how you can easily search for these crossovers and have VectorVest tell you when these crossovers happen. Sound good? All right, well, let's get started. First off, let's talk about what is MACD. MACD is perhaps one of the most popular technical indicators. It stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence. It is a great indicator to help pinpoint meaningful changes in a stock's price direction. Not only can you use it to help pinpoint changes of direction, it could help you see changes in momentum as well. It's based on a 12 and 26 day exponential moving average, but it's not important for us to get caught up in the calculation or formula of MACD. What is important is to discuss how to use it. So let's look at an example. Here we see a graph of Johnson & Johnson, and I've added MACD to the bottom of the graph. And the most common use is to look for times when the MACD histogram, which are these yellow bars down here at the bottom, is to look for times when this histogram crosses above or below this zero line. That's a great indication that there's a change in the stock's trend. And as you can see, just by looking at this chart, there's several examples of that. So let's take a look at them. And typically what you should ask yourself is, did you have a chance or would you have made any money when the MACD crossed over? So in this one that's highlighted here, did you have a chance to make money there? Definitely, right? Look at that. If we go back to the one prior to that, you sure had a chance to make money. Worst case scenario, if you didn't get out up here, you would have gotten out over here and possibly broken even. What about this one back here? Yep, you had a chance to make some money there. The one prior to that, definite chance to make money there. The one prior to that, here's a crossover. Yes, you could have made money there. This one right here, a little bit of money. Prior to that, there was a chance, but maybe you would have broke even after it came back down and flattened out. And the one prior to that, yeah, you could have made some money there. And what you'll find is you'll see this on graph after graph, that when this MACD crosses over into positive territory, it gives you great buying opportunities. Are you gonna make money every time? No but most times you have the potential to make some gains. Now, of course, on the flip side, when the MACD crosses into negative territory, it could either help you protect profits on existing positions or tell you when to initiate short positions. For example, what about this one right here? When it crossed into negative territory after this nice run, yeah, you definitely would have protected profits there. And this one over here, look at that. It's hard to get much better than that. So you can see here that MACD crossovers not only are a great entry signal, you can use those negative crossovers as a way to exit your trades, or you can initiate short positions. That's one of the most popular ways and one of the best ways to use MACD crossovers. The other thing you can also look at, while it's not a crossover, MACD can also tell you when a stock is gaining or losing momentum based on the histogram. So you can see here, the histogram started to trickle down, which meant that uptrend was losing some momentum and vice versa. The downtrend was losing momentum here. But what we're going to focus on today primarily are the crossovers. And as I said a moment ago, most technical traders spend most of their day analyzing sometimes hundreds of graphs looking for stocks that meet these MACD crossovers. So basically they're going graph after graph just eyeballing the chart looking for the crossovers. What I'm going to show you next is how VectorVest has dramatically simplified that process for us. There's a search tool within VectorVest called ProTrader, and it will do all the work for us. ProTrader is a plug-in module, 
which you can get a free two-week trial for, and it is definitely worth it. Within a couple of clicks of the mouse, you'll know what stocks are crossing over right now. So let's go right into Vectorvest and let's take a look at this tool. Here we are in Vectorvest and we're right at the Unisearch tab. And over on the left hand side of the Unisearch tab, there are a list of folders and you'll notice the one that I've highlighted is called Pro Trader. This is where we hold all of the technical searches which you can use and you can even modify these searches to match your own needs. So if I open up that folder, you can see there's several pre-built searches in there for you. You can see we've got exponential moving average crossovers, moving average crossovers, you can look for ADX, support and resistance searches, here's MACD and DPO, RSI, stochastics, and so on. But let's focus on this one right here, MACD crossover long. So when I click on that, the criteria of the search will appear to the right. So this is a search that you would run if you're bullish, which you're looking for a MACD crossover to the upside. And you can see that right here in the search criteria, MACD crossing over, so it's crossing above the signal line, which means those histograms are turning positive, and that crossover needed to happen today. All right, so it's looking for all stocks that are over a dollar that are trading over 100,000 shares on average, and the MACD crossed over as of the time you run the search. Now, if you're using Vectorvest end of day, you'll always get the stocks that had the MACD crossover based on the end of day data. If you're using Vectorvest intraday or Vectorvest real time, you'll see the stocks that are having the MACD crossover at whatever time that you run your search. Now, while you can run this search on any given day at any given time, one of the biggest benefits that you find with Vectorvest is Vectorvest tells you exactly when to run these searches because we have market timing signals. And if you're a technical trader, one of the best technical timing signals to use is our DEW market timing system because that uses technical indicators to time the market. So for example, let's just come up here to the, the date box and I'm gonna change the date. I'm gonna, instead of using confirmed calls, I'll use our DEW signals and let's just test out a few. So here we had a signal on September 9th. So I'm gonna click on that and hit okay. Now I'm gonna run this search and the stocks that met the criteria of that search, in other words, the stocks that had a MACD crossover on September 9th, 2013, show up in this list. So let's take a look at a few of these graphs. Let me minimize the left-hand side. And how about we just graph all of them here? So here we're looking at a graph, and I've got just price and MACD on the graph. But we need to look at September 9th. So let's go back and find September 9th. There we are, and you can see right here, the MACD was negative, negative, negative coming up off of that, so that downtrend was losing momentum, and then pop, right there on September 9th, the MACD crossed over. So what you want to do is just ask yourself, did you have a chance to make any money on this trade? So take a look here, it crossed over here, did you have a chance to make money? Definitely, right? Let's go to the next one. Well, after it pulled back a little bit initially, but then look at that, it took off. Did you have a chance to make money there? Yes. How about on this next one? Yeah, this is a no-brainer, right? How about this next one? Definitely, you can see on each one of these you're having this MACD crossover. Next one? Yes. You get the idea. Now are all of them going to work out? Maybe not. But you can see you're putting probability on your side. You've got the DEW in your favor, which is our market timing signal and you've got on a stock basis the MACD crossing over. So let's use a tool in Vectorvest called Quick Test and just see how these would have done. So I'm going to just quick test just the top 10 and we're going to go from September 9th until current because we haven't had a down signal yet and look at this. We've had 8 out of the 10 stocks go in our favor after the MACD crossover on average a 15% gain which annualizes 179% well outpacing what the market did. Well, maybe we just got lucky there, right? Well, let's close this and let's check out the call before that. How about July 8th? And we're going to test it to August 16th, which was the DEW down signal after that. So I'll click on July 8th. Let's run it. And once again, Vectorvest, think about what it's doing. It's looking through all 8,000 stocks and finding the stocks that had a MACD crossover and 
not only that, we're sorting them so the stocks that have the best combination of VST, which is value, safety, and timing, appear at the top. So let's quick test these. And we're going to go to August 16th. Well, let's just use the quick dates over here. And rerun the test. All right, how about that? Again, eight winners out of 10. On average, we're up 4.2%, doubling what the market did. Annualized is almost 40%. And you might have even gotten rid of Bonton before it dropped 28% in your portfolio. But even if you held it, you made 4% in about five weeks. Well, how about the call before that? Let's go, what's the one before that? We got April 24th. We're going to go to June 5th. So we're going to run this, quick test the top 10, change the date here, and I'll just use the quick dates again and go to June 5th and run this test. All right, 7 out of 10. So it's not 8 out of 10. We're at 7 out of 10. Still fantastic, right? If we come down here, again, more than doubling what the market did, 3.3% which annualized is 28%. And I want you to remember something. Vectorvest is doing all the work for us. It told us when to buy based on the DEW signal and the search found the stocks. Now that was a historical example, right? Because we were going back in time. Keep in mind, you can find the stocks that are crossing over right now. So I'm gonna close this quick test. And since I've got the real-time service, or if you've got the intraday service, you're also going to see this stream button at the top. I'm going to click on that, and you notice it brings me to October 11th at 3.26 p.m. So if I run this search right now, it's going to find all the stocks based on the data at 3.26 p.m. that are having a MACD crossover. So again, if I graph these stocks, let's take a look at what we've got. All right, so let's bring this down a little bit. Look at this. Now this one... It looks like the uptrend was losing some momentum. MACD went negative and then it crossed back up today. So it did have that MACD crossover today. Now look at this one. It was negative and popped back up. That's more what you want to look for. Now this one just went negative for one day and then popped back up. Here's another one. It was negative, negative, negative and pop. So at any given moment during the day, if you've got intraday or real time, you'll be able to find the stocks that are having a MACD crossover at that instant. All right, let's close this graph here. Now, what if I told you that VectorS can actually scan the market all day for you and send you alerts of possible trades? You don't even need to be near your computer. You can be out and about, golfing, shopping, doing whatever you want, and VectorS will send you an alert anytime one of these stocks has a MACD crossover. Well, what we've done is we've created a tool which does just that. And it's right here called the Watchdog. Now, again, this is a plug-in module, which we provided a link in the views tonight for a free two-week trial for you to check out. And again, I think it's really worth it. I'm going to show you exactly why as we go through the rest of this video. As the name implies, it watches the market all day for you and alerts you of possible trades. Just like a watchdog, it's on guard, it's on alert, looking for stocks that are having a MACD crossover. So let's set one up. So I'm going to click on the Watchdog tab. I'm going to come down to the bottom. I'm going to click on Create a New Watchdog. And right now we're going to have a choice to either look for MACD crossovers or stocks that are breaking above or below or retracing from support or resistance levels. But let's start off by looking at MACD crossovers. So we're going to assume we're bullish on the market because we had this uptrend resuming. We're looking for the MACD to be crossing above and we only want one alert per day per stock. So I'm going to come to number two, which is where we can set a filter. Now, by default, we have the filters of $5 and 250,000 average volume. That way you're not getting alerted to every possible low price stock that just happens to be having a MACD crossover. So you can make this as strict as you want or as loose as you want. One of the popular things that people do is they use this watch list filter and they check that and they only look at stocks that are in the S&P 500. So what this watchdog would do is it would only look at the stocks in the S&P 500 that are over $5 and trade over 250,000 shares on average. But what I want to do here, I want to show you what an alert looks like. So I'm actually going to make this pretty loose. Right? So I'm going to actually uncheck this and I'm going to lower this down to $1. 
I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to leave this as Watchdog 1. I'm going to click on Finish. So now you can see that the Watchdog is set up. We're subscribed to it, which means the dog is looking. And you can see down here, an alert pops up. And we're actually getting multiple alerts. Again, because we've got the filter very loose. But I wanted to show you what these alerts look like. So every time a stock is having a MACD crossover, you get alerted within the program. You also get an email sent to you. You can even set it up to send you a text message. So again, you could be out and about. You could be doing other things on your computer. And you can get alerted of possible trades. All right, so I'm going to click up here. And this will actually give me the details of all of the alerts. And you can see, since we were pretty loose on our criteria, we've gotten a lot of alerts. All right, now, of course, I could come up here and turn off the watchdog if I wanted to. I can say, all right, well, I don't want it to be $1. I'll raise that up to, how about $10? And use a watch list filter and do maybe the S&P 500. What I've done is I've actually built my own watch list of the top stocks based on market cap from the VectorVest stock viewer. So it's very flexible. So you can set up your own type of watchdog. So let me cancel this. And I'm going to unsubscribe from this. And what I'm going to do is I want to show you how you can use the watchdog to your advantage. So I'm actually going to log out of this account and I'm going to come back into VectorVest in my own account and show you all the alerts that I've been getting over the past week or so. All right, here we are back in Vectress. Now I'm logged into my own account and you can see I've set up my own watchdog and I've called it high market cap and high average volume. So when I click on it and I hit edit, you can see that this watchdog is looking for stocks at over $10 with a million average volume. And I built my own watch list from the stock viewer of Vectorvest. I just sorted it by market cap. But again, you could set up your own watchdog based on whatever criteria you wish. Let me cancel this and you can see here there's alerts that have been populating down at the bottom and one of the things that you could do is take the results and graph them so for example here's a bunch of alerts that came in today October 11th All right, so I'm gonna scroll down through here and just stop when it gets to the end of the 11th and then I can just right click on it and view the stock graph and then once the graphs up you can go through graph by graph and look for the ones that are having a more ideal MACD crossover. So for this one, you know, this stock's been in a downtrend, just starting to be coming back up. The MACD wasn't negative for too long. You may or may not choose that one. Let's go to the next one. This one, hey, you might look at this and say, all right, look how MACD oscillates. It goes below, above, below, above. It was below and it's coming up above. But I'm looking at this here and the MACD after the alert came this morning, it's actually turned back negative. So you might either put that into a watch list to keep an eye on for later or just move on. Here's another one. Below, above, below, above, below. And now the histogram is still positive. You might write that one down or consider that one. Again, I'm not giving stock advice. We're just looking at patterns in the MACD. So you can basically go through chart after chart looking for ideal situations with the MACD. You can see how this one had turned back negative after the alert came. So let's skip that one. Here we can see another example. The MACD was negative, went positive, went negative, started to work its way back and just had a crossover today. So with this watchdog, it's doing all of the work for you. In other words, you don't have to scan 8,000 stocks anymore. You don't have to run the search yourself. You don't even need to be near your computer. You just have to have VectorVest and have the watchdog running and the watchdog will do all the work for you. Let me show you some examples of how the watchdog has helped me over the past month. Here we're looking at a chart of AZN. And you'll notice that AZN had a MACD crossover down here on September 11th. So on September 11th, at 1.52 p.m., the watchdog sent me an alert. And this is what the alert would look like when it comes through your email. So after receiving the alert at 1.52, a trade was placed you notice here at 156, only four minutes later, to buy AZN at 5043. When you take a look at AZN, it had a nice little run there, little pop, but then notice it started to curl over. The MACD then turned negative here. And Dr. Delito has always preached never to give back more than half your profits. So following Dr. Delito's guidelines, the stock was then sold October 7th 
at 51.19, which resulted in a 1.5% gain in 26 days, which should be about 20% annualized. Let's look at another example. Here's a chart of DISCA. Now this stock actually had a MACD crossover also on September 11th, and you can see here the alert that was received September 11th at 2.56 p.m. I highlighted September 12th on the graph here because at 3 p.m. I just wasn't available to do any trading, which is why here a trade was placed the next day in the morning at 9.45 to buy DISCA. Now this stock obviously had a nice run hitting a peak up here, which coincidentally was the same day that it was sold, and it was actually sold because it hit a profit target, and the profit target was 8%. And that was 8% in 15 days because of this watchdog alert. Now instead of looking at chart after chart, I put all the other trades into a table for us. Let's take a look at that. Now here's a list of all the trades placed over the past month or so. You'll notice there's a mixture of stock trades and option trades. And you'll notice a lot of these option trades, the days in the trade, and these are calendar days, which sometimes include weekends, it's a lot shorter on those option trades. Four days, four days here, 12 days, four days, just one day. And look at the percentage gains that you're making. And look at the percentage gains that were made on those option trades. 10%, almost 8%, 10, 10, 15 in such a short amount of time. And this is why we try to encourage everybody to get out to one of our options courses so that we could teach you how to place these types of trades. We do teach a bull put credit spread as part of our options course, so we can teach you exactly how to do this type of a trade. And we have a ton of options courses coming up from now until the end of the year. So check your calendar, see if you're available. Well, let's take a look here. Now here's Visa. An alert was received at 2.38 p.m. on the 30th. Trade was placed, what was that, nine minutes later. It was closed on September 3rd for a 15% gain. We looked at AZN and DISCA. Here's Baidu. Alert was received at 9.35 in the morning. Didn't place the trade till the next day. Was in the trade for four days for a 10% gain. The watchdog sent an alert for VRX at 9.31 in the morning on the 18th. Also placed that the next day. Was in that one for 12 days, 10%. Now they're not all going to work out. So here's one that didn't work out. Closed this one for almost a 4% loss. Got out because the MACD basically turned negative again. And you could see that if you pull up a chart of NEE. And then here's two other option trades. One just recently closed out today. And all of these trades were due to watchdog alerts. And you can see a lot of them, the alerts came during the day and the trades were placed that same day. And that's one of the benefits of having either the intraday service or the real-time service. So in the Vectorist Views tonight, we do have links to get trials to ProTrader and the Watchdog. Or if you choose to, one of the benefits of upgrading the Vectorist real-time is that as a bonus of being a real-time subscriber, we include access to the Watchdog and ProTrader searches as part of your subscription, as long as you're a real-time subscriber. And if you've got a tool that can help you place trades where you're making 10%, 7%, 10%, 10%, 15%, 8% in a given month, think about how quickly you'd be able to pay off your subscription in real time. So in summary tonight, our objectives were to show you how to use MACD, how you can use ProTrader searches to easily search for those MACD crossovers, and how you could set VectorVest up to alert you of those trades, and we did that using the watchdog. And PS, what we're going to do is have a Q&A session on Monday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon Eastern Time. This will be through a webcast, and you could register at vectorist.com slash events. So it's an open Q&A, and you're invited to join. I'd like to thank you all for attending tonight, and hope you have a fantastic weekend. Good night, everybody.